Welcome. If you thought my last video was spicy, well, do I have a hot one for you today. We're going to be talking about the spiciest chef in the land of Liyue and the surrounding regions. We're going to be talking about Shang Ling. She is a, another pyro user like Amber. So maybe give her a chance before you put too much in Amber. See which one you like better. Once you hit AR20, you'll be able to go to a place called the Spiral Abyss. And um, I'm going to show you the location of that. And the reason you should care about Shangling, like I said, she's another pyro user. She's the only polearm user in the game right now. Her ultimate lasts five times longer than Amber's, which is amazing because Amber's is only two seconds long versus Shangling's being 10, which is very useful. And if you haven't seen her cute little bear Goba yet, you, you gotta tech check out Goba. He's adorable. The cooldown time on him is great. He just chomps on a little chili and then, uh, you know, he just spits out some fire. That's check him out. That's a spicy meatball. Okay, so the location of the Spiral Abyss is over here on this island that is off the mainland called Musk Reef. And you click on this little spot, it's going to be the Spiral Abyss. Now, the location of this right here is Mondstadt, the main city. You're going to go all the way down to the southeast side. The closest place to warp is this spot right here. So let's go ahead and warp right there, and I will show you how you can get there. There's a little bit of a puzzle to this, and it was very confusing whenever I first, um, you know, got over here. I really didn't know how to get to the Musk Reef. Now, you could try your hand at, at swimming there and using stamina foods or creating an ice land bridge, but uh, there's there's a faster way to do it and very interesting way to do it, if you ask me. So, as you'll see right here, there is a singularity in the sky. Uh, wrong, wrong gotcha. We don't talk about that that one but you know i will always love my sweet kohai Senpai. anyways there is going to be a sealy puzzle puzzle down here you can see the three sealies the little 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 green wisps that you carry back to their home into those little pedestals now the first one is oh about fell off the cliff the first one's going to be <laughs> up here so the first one's right here um overlooking this teleport portal slash um <laughs> singularity <laughs> Now, the second one is going to be over in that direction right there, right in front of this Sealy. And then uh, this Sealy pedestal, you go down there to the north, and um, you'll find the last one. When you plug them in, it'll create this wind burst. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to carry that wind burst up into that portal here. And this is actually pretty fun to do. So you want to you want to you want to position yourself just right so you can fly right into the middle of the portal. Do not let go of your glider because you need to glide through this portal. And I think I think this is really pretty. This is really nice to look at. Okay, so this thing right here, this this is this this is the spiral abyss right here. So you want to go to this thing, run all the way up to it, and then it's gonna unlock like any other domain. It'll be red, click on it once, you unlock the fast travel point, and then right here, it's available to you at any time to teleport in. Now, let's go over a little bit of how the Spiral Abyss works. So let's go in here. Again, got another pretty singularity look to it. Okay, so there are eight floors, and then once you clear all eight floors, there's going to be floor 9 through 12 right here. And this one respawns every week. Well, not every week, every two weeks, I believe. So basically, you come in here, you can check the rewards, you get about 300 Primo Gems and a healthy portion of Mora for every floor you clear. And the way this thing works is it's it's um, it's um time-based, challenge, challenge time-based. If you click on it here, you can see you need to clear this chamber within 90 seconds, 150 seconds, with 210 seconds remaining. Essentially, the faster you clear it, the more stars you get there's three stars for each one of these three chambers on this floor and basically once you get all the stars for every chamber you'll get the max reward so you'll get all 300 of the primo gems now the way that you unlock shangling and it doesn't show it if you click on it and you go to rewards it's not going to show shangling here this is an event built into the game one time clear you clear Floor three, chamber three, doesn't matter how many stars you get, you will get Shangling guaranteed. So 
The thing is, is if you click on a chamber, you can see how high of a level the enemies are going to be. Whenever you first come here at AR-20, your world level is going to go from 0 to 1, and it's going to expand your character's max level from level 20 to level 40. That means if you go into here as soon as you hit AR-20, the max level your character could be is 40, and the enemies are going to be 45, so all the enemies are going to be 5 levels higher than you. Now, I'm not picking on y'all by saying if you're not good at the game, you might want to wait until you hit AR-25, because then your world level will go to 2, and then your max level can be 50, and then you can be 5 levels higher than the enemies. But, essentially, if you come in here right at AR, AR-20, it's going to be a little difficult for you. You're going to want to plan out on the different floors, like, what characters you need to use on which floors to match these cryo slimes. Like, you know, you're going to want to bring some fire. Um, the second the second chamber, you're going to be fighting a bandits. And the third floor, you're going to be fighting a ruin guard and a hillatrol, giant, giant hillatrol. Now, most of these... These chambers, they're kind of like gated in, but I want to show you a trick for chamber two. This is the one that I kind of had a hard time on. So we're going to pick out our party. We're going to pick a party right here. Um, not, I want to do that, 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 that. Okay. So you pick your party. And there's a little, um, there's a little buffs that you can get whenever you play the Spiral Abyss. Now I'm not going to do like a deep dive on how to beat every one of these floors. But, um, you know, I just want to go over a little bit of it. You can uh, you can pick these different buffs. Now, if it says effect effective for this floor, the buff is going to last for the entire floor. If it says effective for this chamber, it's just going to last for this chamber you're on. It kind of confused me when I first started. Floor contains all the chambers, and then each chamber is like the next level you go to. We're just going to pick a random one. Okay, so check this out. You come in here... Now, like I said, the enemies are going to be five levels higher than you. So, one trick to clearing this is one with the main character's uh, ultimate. You can throw her, her, her vortex that'll throw them across the map. And then once they get to the edge, you can just fling them off with your elemental skill or, or you can do a heavy attack. Okay, it's not let me show you because I haven't started the challenge. But basically, basically you go up this thing. Okay, so... You basically do this, and then they get closer to the edge. They're probably gonna die before they get there, and then just heavy, oh, heavy attack off the edge. Spiral off the edge. And that's a good way to knock them out if you're low level and you're having a hard time. This first one isn't too hard. The second stage was pretty rough for me, but we're gonna get out of here. I'm just, just want to show you all that little trick that can help. A lot if you know you don't have the the perfect team and they're not leveled high enough but yeah that basically does it for that it's not too much to it just uh you know get to AR 20 as soon as you can uh, AR 25 you're having a hard time and then you can go in there and get yourself a free Shang Ling and if you've already rolled her on the gotcha banner and the and the venti banner if it's still up that is completely fine she is amazing at Constellation 2. I don't have her at Constellation 2 yet myself. But you can go in here and check it out when she hits Constellation 2. Like I said in my last video, at the end of her light attack combo, she'll uh, she'll put implode status on the enemy and after 2 seconds they explode and it'll it'll hit them with the pyro the pyro element and then you can swap in someone like like Lisa or main character, hit them with an elemental reaction very very good and one more thing if you're playing this before before the 1.1 update which i believe will be coming uh sometime between november 11th the 13th which was confirmed on the mihoyo um message boards you will also get barbara so definitely if you are on the fence about whether or not you want to play this game just pick it up just try it if you don't like it, if uh, the gotcha's reeling you in too much, you can drop it. But now is definitely the time to start. You don't want to miss this cutie patootie. Barbara, she's very good, very good healer as a bonus. So you're, you're basically guaranteed to get eight characters as soon as you start playing the game. 
Uh, as, as soon as you hit AR-20, you can you can have up to eight characters, the two guaranteed off the beginner banner, and then the four that the game story gives you, plus Shangling and Barbara, if you play before the 1.1 update. But anyways, that will do it for today. If y'all have any questions about the game, anything you want me to go over for a guide, please ask me. If there's anything I didn't make clear in this video, please feel free to comment. I try my best to respond to everyone and uh yeah more guides soon feel free to join our discord and chat with us while we're not streaming uh and also speaking of streaming feel free to join our our twitch streams twitch.tv slash deku underscore media i'm gonna try to play genshin every friday through sunday at least on the weekends it seems like the time where most people are off work and have time to come hang out with us but i will see you then or in the next video Peace.